Crystal Walker with Ask Gay Walker, your Northern Virginia real estate agent. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Lane Elementary here in Alexandria, Virginia. As you may be aware, Fairfax County is home to some of the top rated schools in the nation. But if you're looking for a school for your little ones, I'm sure you want to know about each individual school, not so much about the county as a whole. So in this video, I'm going to answer a few frequently asked questions home buyers ask when looking for a school for their kids. Lane is the largest elementary school serving the Kingstown area. Student enrollment at Lane is usually between 840 and 850 students per school year. However, the student to teacher ratio isn't very different from the other schools in the surrounding neighborhoods. The student teacher ratio is 15.8 to 1, um, with the state average being somewhere around 14.5. Now, Lane serves the Kingstown subdivision as well as Windsor Park, Cressley, and a few other smaller subdivisions in the surrounding area. Lane is a part of two school pyramids. Um, there's the Hayfield Pyramid and the Edison Pyramid. Hayfield uh, Secondary consists of Hayfield Middle and High School. And if you live in the Hayfield Pyramid area, your child will go on to Hayfield Secondary for Middle and High School. However, if you live in another part of Kingstown, typically the North Village, you may be a part of the Twain or Edison Pyramid, meaning that your child will go to Twain Middle and then Edison High School. Now, to find out which pyramid your home is in, you can simply visit the Fairfax County Boundary Locator, put your home address in, and they'll tell you what school your child would attend for each grade level. Next up, we're going to talk about the hours of operation and how long is the school open or what hours is the school open for. Now, Lane School Day actually starts a little bit later than most other school. Lane starts at 920 and their doors open at 855. Um, so with that being said, if you have to be at work for 9 o'clock, that could present a few problems for you. Um, so one thing to consider is before and after care options. Now, Lane participates in the SAC program, which is the school age child care. Um, it's offered with the doors opening at 7 o'clock before school and it's available until 6.15 after school. The issue that some parents run into with SAC is that there is limited availability. There are only a few slots available at the school and they tend to fill up very quickly. I remember when I was looking for a school for my kids, I think the first year we were like number 86 um, on the waiting list and we didn't get in until more than halfway through the school year. With that being said, there are a few other options available to you. There are several private daycares, um, sports academies like Taekwondo ca camps, uh, music studios that do before and after pickup and drop off at most of the schools. So that's an option available to you as well. Now, if you enroll your kids in SAC, like I said, the drop off is usually 7, pick up 615. Otherwise, the school hours are going to be from 920 until 405. Parent involvement has been linked to high achievement. Parent involvement has been linked to high. <laughs> Parent involvement has been linked to high student achievement. So what that means is when you find a school that has a lot of parent involvement, typically there are higher test scores and also higher graduation rates. So for a lot of parents, they want to know what that looks like at that at their school. At Lane, there's a very active PTA. The PTA at Lane consists of you know parents, teachers, staff members, and even some child care providers. They put on a number of fundraisers at the school each school year, and they also sponsor social events and also some school enrichment programs. To find out more about the local PTA, you can visit each school's PTA website. Lane offers an advanced academic placement program for grades K through 6. Typically, the student will be screened by the director if a teacher identifies your child as being a potential candidate to join the program. However, if you're interested, you can reach out to the director and have your child screened as well. Lane also offers an ESOL program, which is a program for English, speak, excuse me, English speakers of other languages. So if you have a child where English is not the first language or the language spoken primarily at home, there is a great program at Lane with three full-time instructors to work with those students. There are a number of enrichment programs after school available at Lane, but also during the school day. From grades K through six, students have the opportunity to take classes on, to attend the computer lab, art, music, 
um, also, of course, physical education. And when the kids get into the upper grades, grades four through six, they can also sign up for the strings program, band, and also the chorus. Finally, we get to ratings and reviews. A lot of parents want to know what other parents are saying about the school as far as reviews, but also how the school is rated compared to other schools in the area. What I suggest you do is you visit our website, which will be linked below, askawalker.com. When you click that link, it's going to take you directly to the page for Lane Elementary School, and it's going to have the most recent ratings and reviews available to you. Ratings change every school year, and because of that, I want to make sure you have the most current information. So take a look down in the description bar and click the link below if you're interested in finding that out. If you found this video helpful, thanks for watching, and please share it with someone else you know who may be considering Lane Elementary School. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the next video.